family reliving the horror after a shootout inside their home. It is the second time this week they've encountered robbers. They told my husband that they had come back to kill. And tonight that woman says she forgives the men, even though her son ended up in the hospital. I'm Blair Miller. And I'm Erica Bryant. And we just learned that one of those suspects was wearing a black costume, a mask, and a bulletproof vest. Action News reporter Tanika Smith is live right now outside that home in Rowan County where all this unfolded. Tanika? Well, Erica, many people couldn't imagine being robbed once, let alone twice, by the same set of robbers in their home in less than a week. But that's exactly what happened to the Deadman family inside of this Rowan County home. Now, despite these brazen and violent robberies, you may be surprised to hear what they have to say about their attackers. Randy and Sherry Deadman have a loaded gun in their home. They were also in the process of installing a taller gate. They've been making lots of security changes after they were victims of a robbery Tuesday night. They come through the gate and got my husband and uh, knocked him to the ground with a rifle. The couple immediately called Rowan County deputies to report the crime, not knowing they would soon be victims again. Randy and his 20-year-old son John were at home today when they say the robbers came back. They told my husband that they had come back to kill because they we reported them. They pointed a gun at my husband and our, our son hit them. The Deadmans say their son was able to break free, grab the loaded gun hidden in the house, and exchange shots with the intruders hitting one of them. The suspects took off, but not for long. Investigators tracked them down at this home in Kannapolis. A man and a woman were taken into custody, while a third wounded suspect was taken to the hospital. The Deadman's son, John, also made a trip to the ER. I think he got gra grazed. After two violent robberies in a matter of days, this family isn't afraid. You can't live in fear. But forgiving. Thank God we're saved. I mean, uh, I forgive them, but they need Jesus. They definitely need Jesus in their lives. Now, as for their son, John Ross, he was hurt a bit during this struggle. He's expected to be okay. The Deadmans think these robbers have been casing their home since earlier this week, but they're not sure why. Investigators may get that answer. They're interviewing the suspects right now. Live in Rowan County, Tanika Smith, Action News at 10.